In this video, we're going to take a look at nested radicals. Um, in the previous video, we looked at um, nested forms of the form x equals a plus b over x. You know, if we just replace x down here, we end up with a continued fraction. Instead, today we're going to take a look at forms, uh, uh, equations of the form a plus b, square root of a plus bx. Now, if, now we can just, just by looking at this, we can tell that it's going to have two solutions, and they'll be uh, algebraic numbers. Uh, roots and the kind of things you get from a quadratic equation. Um, now, of course, we could generalize this with cube roots and other, similar such things, but the principle, principle goes. This means if we write any fraction, any rather, any uh, nested radical of the form this will give us any of the form a plus b a plus b root a plus b root a plus b root dot dot dot. Now it's this dot 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 that really interests me. Because this is not remotely algebraic. Once you involve infinity, it's not algebra. No matter how it looks like it, once you involve infinity, it's just not there. That's not an, that's not an algebraic symbol at all. It's actually just even, it's even dubiously a mathematical symbol. Because we're not very, very precise about what we mean. But we can give it a precise meaning. The, uh, in any case, you know, continued, continued uh, radicals, uh, nested radicals of this form, we can solve with this and solve very easily using the quadratic formula, which, of course, we all know and love. The way to solve that is very straightforward. We simply say, okay, x squared equals a plus bx x squared minus bx minus a equals zero. Then we can solve this using the quadratic formula, using the methods we've all learned in school. Now, what can we actually get from this? Does this actually work? Okay, one, uh, what if we just let a equal b equal one? Well, in that case, we get uh, x equals the square root 1 plus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus da 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 and so forth. Now what does this equal? Well, this equals actually, you may have seen this before, the golden ratio. You know, it popped up oddly when we did uh, the continued fractions earlier. And it popped up again using a very simple a nested, nested radical. Um, now it converges, it converges to the positive value here, the uh, 1 plus root 5 over 2. Um, but nonetheless, there are two solutions. Um, as, I, as I talked about last time, when we have a finite um, number of, well, finite number of, of radicals, or a finite number of continued fractions, we get a single value. That's basic algebra, nothing complicated. When we have an infinite amount, it's not algebra anymore. Um, and it's not necessarily single valued. Likewise, just because we're working with rational numbers doesn't mean we're going to end up with rational numbers. Um, it's one of the curious things about this is that the numbers seems to undergo a kind of phase change. I say phase change because I come from physics. You, uh, you take some water, you heat it up enough, and the molecules start doing something suddenly different. You'll have certain quantities that suddenly go infinite, and your water, instead of acting like water, suddenly becomes a gas. That's called that's called a phase change. Um, and it's, it's quite common in the real world. 
that's one of your common places you will see infinity happen. Okay, let's take a look at... Now, of course, we can do more complicated things with these radicals. If I wanted to do, uh, say, something similar to before, but alternating signs, I could start with x equals a plus minus b root a minus plus b root x. Um, that's, that's certainly doable. In this case, we would, if we generalize a, b, a and b, um, one, one, two, two, we could even end up with a fourth order, um, depending on what we, what we do. Okay, another interesting one. And we did this one of something like this earlier, and it gave us an interesting uh, continued fraction that gave us equal to e. Now, I don't see anything particularly um, startling about this one. I don't see it give us any. Now, if you can use this to get some interesting value, I would love to hear about it. Um, as it is, I find this simply an interesting one. Um, so I'm going to solve this, let n vary um, each time I do it, so that I get x equals square root negative a n plus a plus n x. Now if I do that, um, and just let n vary, well, I wasn't able to find a closed form solution for it. Um, I, I evaluated the form 2 plus root 3 plus root 4, so on. Um, got a value of about uh, 2.341. Okay, I see no, cl no clear value for it, but I, I find that interesting. Now, a per person who did come up with a very, with a um, numerical value was the famous Srinivasa Ramanujan. And I am no Sr R Sr R Ramanujan. Yeah, there's only one of those guys. And I'm not Indian. Okay, so what he did of course, being the character he was, he, uh, he, he, he wrote down a formula, sent it into a mathematical journal and said, hey guys, let's have fun, solve it for me. He proposed x equals square root 1 plus square root, oh, I knew I messed it up, 2, 1, okay, square root of 1, plus 2 root 1 plus 3 square root 1 plus 4 square root and so forth. And of course famously the answer is 3. I mean obviously, right? Well, yeah, not obviously to me. Um, actually I find it a very rem a remarkable formula. What uh, uh, Ramanujan, Raman, Ramanujan, Ramanujan, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And he did, is he took a function, f of x, and said, hey, x equals f plus n plus a. Well, there's how that for a complicated formula. Okay, well, let's, let's square it. f squared is going to equal um, Uh, let's see, I'm going to write it out in a slightly different form. x, x plus n plus a, plus x n plus x a, plus n plus a squared. Curious. Um, I'm now going to write that as f of x plus n
Okay, which gives us, okay, it looks like we didn't want to take that much into consideration. Okay, so plus xa plus n plus a squared, which means, well, we have, we have f and we have f right here, have in both places. So we can just say f equals f of x equals square root of f x plus n. So every time you do this, n x increments by n plus x a plus n plus a squared. Now in his formula, Ramanujan's, he let a equal zero, so that was gone. Um, let's see, he let a equal zero, he let n equal one, I think. Um, and then x is equal to, hmm, let's think about that, I think it was two. Um, in any case, so yeah, in which case it gives you a nice formula like this and gives you a wide range of other formulas that, you know, you certainly wouldn't expect to see, but uh, Ramanujan worked it out first. Now, now I'm not going to make this a long video today. We're going to look at a couple other examples real quick here. We're going to calculate something called the plastic constant, which we can do by saying cube root 1 plus p. Okay, using that, let's just repeat it over and over and over. So we get cube root 3, 1 plus, cube root 1 plus, cube root 1 plus, and so forth. This yields a number known as a plastic constant, um, which is this um, equation of the form x to the n plus x to the n equals a plus bx. Likewise, we could, uh, there's another constant called the silver constant, where we have, we have the more general formula. Um, well, x to the n, where in this case n equals 3. Um, you know, okay, this is the general formula. So in this particular case, we had n equals 3 a equals b equals 1. Um, silver, the so-called silver constant um, is given by n equals 3, a equals 7, b equals 7. Um, so yeah, these nested radicals do have a real use. Um, so they aren't just a pure mathematician's fancy, because I'm not a pure mathematician. I'm not. My degree is in physics. So I like to see things used. Okay, real briefly, take a look at another example before we close here. Slightly different, not exactly a nested radical. x equals 1 plus 2 square root square. 1 plus 2x squared. I find this interesting because its solution is 1 plus i root 7 over 2, over 4, sorry. That's a 4. Um, once again, we see um, closure, a lack of closure. The, uh, I mean, where we can, we, can, we can nest this thing to where we simply have 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 squared 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 um, and so forth um, once again the expression goes on forever and once it does we get a closed expression one thing to note I'll mention this when I talk when I do this video on infinite series Things act completely different when they, we do an infinite number of them. Um, an infinite number of pluses 
no longer mean plus. Fun stuff to think about, and I'll explain it in greater detail next time. Until then.